talk a little bit about that and just how that both boosts the team whenever you're able to beat somebody by that much. Um, you know, it's uh, I guess it gets the team rolling. Like I say, start out strong and uh, kind of helps the momentum of the team. But you know, I just try to go out there and perform my best. And, um, I look to you know become better in each match. So uh, I don't necessarily look for tech falls. I just you know just let the points keep on keep on rolling and. Hopefully that feeds uh, you know to our to our team and they want to continue to do the same. How nice has it been the past couple of weekends for you to be back closer to home, where a lot of these guys on the team yeah. are, get to, to see family almost on the regular here in Oklahoma. For you to get the opportunity to see family in the middle of the season, yeah, it's a it's a good feeling. You know, it's always good to see my uh, my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, my girlfriend. And, uh, so it's it's always good to go back east and. Um, I think it's a good thing to, uh, you know, have Cowboy Wrestling out east uh, give us exposure out there and, um, you know, have other kids out east, you know, take a chance, maybe think about coming to uh, schools, you know, farther out into the country, you know, and not just staying close to home, you know, taking a risk and going out because you might, you know, fall in love and you might find out that there's a school out there that's, that's meant for you and just because it doesn't, it's not close to home doesn't mean that, uh, you know, that's not the right fit for you. So I think uh, hopefully seeing us come out to the East will give hope, you know, to the youth to, uh, you know, maybe say one day I want to wrestle for, you know, Oklahoma State. Was that kind of how it was for you at all? I mean, did you ever get to see a, a wrestling duel for Oklahoma State out there? Uh, no, it wasn't like that for me. But, um, uh, you know, I, I now with social media and everything, even back then for me, but now how it's boosted and everything, I think uh, – you know, people can see more of um, different parts of countries or what schools are like through, you know, Instagram and what and whatnot. So um, I think if I was a kid now, I think uh, I would have been way more, you know, intrigued in, in looking at schools out, you know, in Oklahoma or wherever that may, wherever you may be looking. Unless it's a duel that starts with a, you know, draw away somewhere other than, you know, 125. You have a different perspective. You get your work done, and then you're going to get to sit back and watch. So Coach Smith was talking about he likes the way this team's taking shape, even though a lot of it's shifted because of injuries. When you look at this team after you've done your work, you sit back and say, man, we could do some damage in the, in the oh. Nationals. We, we can be pretty good. Of course, yeah. You know, I, I think we're, we're a team with, uh, with uh, a lot left to grow. I think that we're, we're still getting better. I think we're still learning about, you know, our team and, um, yeah, but when you sit back and you look at our lineup up and down the lineup, you know, we, we have a, you know, we have a serious shot, you know, to think that we're not in it is, is crazy. So, um, yeah, I, I think when you sit back and you watch and, you know, you look at the talent, yeah, yeah, we have a shot. What does it say about the, the program and what John Smith is doing here with the fact that you said this, this lineup looks good, yet you have three All-Americans who are sidelined right now? Yeah. It's that's what it is when you come to you know big schools and and schools that are big but but good you know you you know you have the talent you're gonna have the talent you know you're you're a top you know two program in the country top three top four you know every single year so I mean things like that are it's gonna happen um, and uh, but that's why you come here you know if if you're trying to just start um, you know you can go I mean it's not a bad thing you know but. You, you really can become the best you can be when you come to a, a, pro, a top program like Oklahoma State. So, um, you know, that happens, and uh, whoever's the better man will come out on top. How impressed have you been with, with those guys who are filling in or moving up weights throughout the lineup? Yeah, it's uh, it's tough. You know, I, I, I respect them a lot. I respect, you know, all of our, our my teammates. I respect them a whole lot. They're a great group of, great group of guys, and... Um, you know, they do their part, and uh, they help us out. And without them, you know, um, a lot of the starters, you know, you, they, they, you know, they can't have the success or, or have the help that they get and become become better. So, um, you know, having those guys in the room, it's, it's incredible. So props to them. In those situations when you are at the, you're the first match out, mm -hmm. do you have an expectation of what you need to be to kind of set the – Set the stage for for the guys coming behind you. Um, you know what I, I just kind of say you know try to perform your best and uh, we're a bunch of competitive guys. You know whether 
whether I go out there. I mean, it's always good to you know start start off with the, with a bang, and um, definitely if if you start off with a bang and you get the the energy high, there's no doubt that momentum definitely picks up. But um, I'm so you know convinced in, in in our guys that even if something you know they're they're, they're ready, you know they're ready. You know, the drop of a dime, you know, you got 33, 41, 49 guys, 57 through our lineup. I mean, they're ready to go to war. So, I mean, um, they're, they're experienced. So even even though some of them might, might be young, they're, they're experienced. So uh, I, don't, I don't worry about too much having to say, I, I need to get the team on my back or get ready. I know if I do my job, they'll do theirs. So it's easy. Do you enjoy that, though? You seem to, to kind of relish in oh, being that guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I enjoy it. I enjoy it because it, it it does. You know, I say that you know I have to do my job, but when you get the dual start off with the bang and Dame Fix comes up and he does something great, and then uh, Cade and then G, it's like you know you can feel the energy. Once you feel that energy, it's it's an addictive feeling, you know. So yeah. At those lower weights, how much has it helped the lineup as a whole? Cade filling in at 141 like he has. Um. Yeah, it's helped Cade. It's huge going up, you know, um, filling that hole. So, um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's big, and he's doing his job. He's doing his best, and uh, he'll continue to have success. I kind of asked him out there, and he kind of joked around, but with you and Fix and him at those lower weights, Coach kind of talked early in the year about how competitive it can get. Mm -hmm. How much has that helped you guys just to get better? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you look to your left and you look to your right, and you have two really competitive guys, and, you know, best guys in the country you know so it's yeah you're going to be competitive and if you don't you know there's a problem because you know if you have a bad day it's going to be a real bad day I <laughs> promise you you know so being one of the older guys you've been through this before how have you seen Dayton kind of respond to that first loss of yet um you know what I I think like anything he's mature you know Dayton Fix is Dayton Fix and I'm not worried about him whatsoever you know um I think it was something I think it was college wrestling you know it uh Got, you know, fell in, fell into the tactics, fell into the tactics of another, another wrestler, and it won't happen again. I, I mean, he's more driven than, and a lot of a lot of people, and uh, he's not a kind of he's not the type of guy to just lay, lay down after something like that. You know, you, there's a fire, you know, that's that's lit now. So, um, watch out. So.